Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Janet, and I do unboxings and product reviews. So if this is something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be notified on when I upload all of my new videos. So today we are going to be unboxing BoxyCharm for the month of July. This is going up really late. I just got my box, I think, two days ago. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the card for this month says sunshine and it's got a really beautiful picture on it. And of course on the back it has all the products and what they retail for. The first item I am pulling out is from Clean Skin Club and it's a vitamin C brightening booster with watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. Nice glass bottle, it's frosted, very pretty. And this retails for $49.95. Got a little dropper. Smells kind of like like soap with a hint of like fruit in it. It's not exactly watermelon or pineapple, which is the ingredients that are in here, but it's definitely got a fruitiness to it. Ooh, I like that. The next item is from the Cream Shop Next Gen Blender Set, and it's travel friendly sponge, okay. and it is latex free, vegan, and cruelty free. And this retails at $22. I just kind of want to give one a little squeeze. Hmm. We'll see. My go-to uh, beauty sponge is from Real Techniques and these kind of feel like that consistency. I'll have to get them uh, wet. That's usually how I use the beauty sponges and uh, see how well they puff up and how soft they are. Uh, next is from Studio Makeup and it is their Endurance Cream Eyeshadow in the color pink. And this retails for $25. Get a little swoosh in there. It looks like it's separated a little bit. And this is definitely a sheer formula. Uh, this looks like it would be more used as like an eyeshadow topper. So there is a little bit of glitter to it. Let's see, what does it say? The lightweight decadent formula is perfect, is the perfect addition to your glow. Apply a sheer layer for a soft and radiant daytime appearance or add a few layers for a dramatic evening glow. So see, it sounds like you can build it up to be more of an opaque, but just one or two swipes on it is gonna give you more of an eye topper type of glitter application. So super excited to play with that. And next we have from Alamar Cosmetics. This is, looks like it's a liquid lip in birthday suit. Yep, it's a birthday suit lip gloss and it retails for $15. It says Alamar Cosmetics is celebrating their two year anniversary by wearing their birthday suit, Wink, a universally gorgeous pink diamond dripped gloss. There's definitely a little bit of a sparkle to this. So we'll do just a real quick swatch. It smells like cake. Yep, just a real flattering pink. The glitter does shift a little blue, but it's not like big chunks of glitter in the gloss, so that seems really pretty. And I've not tried, tried anything from Alamar before, I don't think. Maybe I have. Probably not. But anyways, the brand seems really interesting, so excited to play around with that. And the last item in here is from Ace Beauté. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's Bronzed in Paradise. And it is their bronzer palette. So really pretty. I like that they give you a full range in here.
this lighter color would probably work for me in the winter time when I'm not as tanned. Then I could maybe even bump up to these middle two. And then this one on the end is just is way too deep for me to use as a bronzer, but I could probably use that as either an eyeshadow or maybe even a blush if you use a really light hand. So the uh, bronzer palette, the Ace Beauté, I'm sure that's Ace Beauty, and that's just a fancy way of how to spell it. But anyways, the Bronze in Paradise palette retails for $30. So that is everything that we got in the box. I am going to off camera go ahead and apply these. I find I tend to do a little bit better of a job at my makeup if I do this off camera. It's definitely out of my comfort zone. I like to be able to take my time and when I'm filming I can see the ticker just going and it just kind of makes me panic a little bit. So if you really want me to film them or film my makeup on camera, I absolutely can. You know, just let me know either way. But for this one today, I think I'm just going to uh, play around with this off camera, come back, show you what I did, and then give you my first impressions of everything. So sit tight and I will be right back. So I'm back. This is the look that I created. The first thing I tried was the Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. Um, that went on very nice. It absorbed into the skin pretty quickly. I haven't had the best of luck with vitamin C products. They do tend to break me out a little bit. So I'm with this being more of a serum versus a vitamin C moisturizer. I'll have to wait and see how this is going to affect my skin, but overall the first application it felt very nice and hydrating. First impressions, this is pretty good. So I did end up applying my uh, BB cream with the sponge that we got in this box. And you can see it definitely puffed up quite a bit. So this is my Real Techniques sponge, this is typically what I use. Um, this has been my favorite sponge for quite a while now. So you can see size-wise, this did puff up quite a bit. It is a little bit firmer than the Real Techniques, but the overall application was very nice. This is a little bit heftier, so it did kind of make getting into the crevices around my eyes and nose a little bit more, not difficult, but just, I'm not used to it yet. But I'm pretty sure if I play around with this some more, this would be completely fine. So happy with this one as well. So I used all of the colors in this bronzer palette. I actually used this on my eyes as well as a bronzer. I used this lightest color here all over the lid. I used the uh, second to darkest color as a crease color and then I used this darkest color to deepen up the crease in the outer corner. And as eyeshadows they actually applied very well. I started out by using this shade here as bronzer on my face and found that it's it's pretty sheer. It was probably fine on its own, but I wanted to see if this darker color would actually work as well. And I did use that to deepen up just on the outer perimeters of the face. And this actually worked pretty decent for my skin tone. I used this darkest color as a uh, blush. I used a very light hand. I only dipped in once and it looks pretty decent. I kept it isolated to the outer portions of my face instead of carrying it all the way over to the apples of my cheeks. And it seems to look pretty nice. It looks like a natural kind of healthy glow type of a blush or a flush to the face. This cream eyeshadow, I did end up putting two layers of this on each of my eyelids. I wanted to build up a couple layers to see if this would crack or uh, you know flake or have the glitter pieces fall and it's held in place pretty well. My one complaint and I've had this happen on a couple other cream products like this that have glitter in them is that my eyes kind of burn a little bit until it dries down. So if that's something you're sensitive to this might not be a good product for you. Um, right now it's dried down. I don't feel it or anything like that but I could tell I mean, as I first applied it and waited for it to dry down, it definitely had a burning to it. I'm not really sure what that is in these types of products with glitters, if it's the glitter that's actually irritating the eyelids, 
but just wanted to let you guys be aware of it that that's what did happen to me. But other than that, it's a really pretty color. It gives just a little touch of sparkle to the eye, but it's very pretty. It's not thick, like I said, it doesn't crack. And as far as I can tell, I don't have any fallout from that glitter yet. And the last product I used was the Alomar Lip Gloss. This definitely smells like birthday cake, so it's very fitting that it's called Birthday Suit. It is very sticky though, so if you don't like formulas that are sticky, this might not be for you. It is definitely a thicker, I mean you can kind of hear it when I pull the wand out and it's got that stringiness to it. So just keep that in mind. Um, so this product might not be for you if you don't like lip, thicker lip glosses. So those are my final thoughts of the July BoxyCharm box. Let me know what you got in your box. I'd be interested to see what other products were offered. Again, comment below. Let me know what you thought. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe, tell your friends, share. Sharing is caring. And thank you for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.